Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today attended the second edition of Bahrain Comic Con held under His Highness's patronage at the Bahrain International Circuit. The event was also attended by the Youth and Sports Affairs Minister, Mr. Ayman Mr. Ayman Tawfiq Al Muayyad, and organized by Dalla Promotions. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed praised the youth's ongoing efforts in promoting and encouraging creativity and innovation across Bahrain's thriving sectors. His Highness went on to highlight Bahrain's strong track record in hosting international events, adding that such events are central to reinforcing the kingdom's regional standings. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed concluded by wishing the organizers and participants every success in displaying a wide range of animated creations and cutting-edge gaming technologies, including robotics, Japanese manga, and many others.
Every single year is going to be different from the first year because every single year we try to go bigger, we try to go better. I keep saying bigger and better, I really don't know why, but it just that's what I feel. But like bringing a celebrity like uh, David Harbour or uh, Palm or Alison Sudol that has never been in the Middle East, that have been in major blockbuster, multi-million, multi-billion dollar movies like... Um, Stranger Things and uh, Fantastic Beast, and when it came to the gaming sector, we brought big companies like um, Activision, we brought uh, Dell, Alienware, Blizzard that have been here in Bahrain for the first time. They've never been here, and this is the first time it's happening that they're here, and we're having an official tournament happening around uh, in the gaming arena. We're having a very nice cinema where people can come and watch all the Avenger movies, Aquaman. It's a fun event for everybody. I don't. I, I always say that. Bahrain Comic Con has no age, has no limit. Anyone that watches TV or watches movies or watches radio or listens to radio, sorry. You know, we try to make sure that everything is best for everyone. Comic Con is a huge phenomenon around the world. Um, Everybody knows Comic Con, uh, representing pop culture, gaming. Um, The fact that it's, it's here in Bahrain, for the second year uh, is, is a great achievement. The fact that so many people here from Bahrain enjoy pop culture, enjoy reading comics, um, are avid players uh, on the online gaming tournaments. Um, it showcases the abilities and the creativeness of the Bahraini community of what we could do if you give us a chance. And so companies like uh, Blizzard or Activision coming to Bahrain for the first time just show, shows how much important Bahrain has become. Who, uh, I hope uh, many more things happen from this event going forward, inshallah. Bahrain Comic Con is happening this year for the second year consecutively. It's bigger, it's crazier, it's just filled with content. David Halver from Stranger Things and Hellboy is here, so it's going to be big, it's going to be crazy over here. So I think Bahrain Comic Con this year, what makes it different than other events, that the content here is just massive, not only on Bahrain level, but even on international level. So we're so proud to have this here. We have a lot of artistic people here, people who love pop culture and gaming, and it's just growing and growing. So with that, events are growing with the community. This is my first time being in Comic Con, and I really appreciate um, Bahrain embracing artists and having such a big event for us. The organization is great and so we're so excited about what's going to happen today. I think Comic Con is a very good uh, opportunity for all artists, cosplayers and vendors everywhere because you get to see other people's styles of work. You get to see stuff that you love which is anime, movies, Comic Con, any stuff that you don't really find anywhere else. And you have a chance to like dress up as whoever you want to be. As an artist, this is a great opportunity for me to meet other artists and to showcase my own work. So it's a very good opportunity for me. First time at uh, Bahrain Comic Con, and uh, I participated before in the Jeddah Comic Con, Sharjah Comic Con, and also Dubai Comic Con. As the first time here in Bahrain Comic Con, it's really an amazing, uh, you know, this experience, and you meet other artists from everywhere, even the place, I like it. And it's, I'm really glad that lately, in these late uh, 10 years, they made this Comic Con in all like uh, Arab world, yeah. I mean it's really important. We don't have to like to go out for U.S. or other places. And as experience, it's really nice. And this is my first time in Comic Con Bahrain, and it won't be my last time. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority is participating in the ITB Tourism Exhibition, which will take place from the 6th to the 10th of March in Germany. This comes within the authority's efforts to strengthen Bahrain's status as a distinct destination on the regional and global tourism map and contribute to increasing the number of visitors to the kingdom as well as doubling the contribution of the tourism sector in the national economy. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Mr. Zayed bin Rashid Azayani, is heading Bahrain's delegation, comprising officials and number of representatives of a number of leading hotels and travel agents, as well as Gulf Air, the national carrier of Bahrain. The Bahrain Pavilion will witness the participation of three German writers from Bahrain's Merida team and features a number of traditional arts. Under the patronage of the Director of Royal Medical Services, Major General Professor Khaled bin Ali Al Khalifa, the BDF held today the workshop How to Enhance Your Research Capacity at the Crown Prince Center for Training and Medical Research. More details on this report with Hiba Abdullah Far. 
The BDF is working towards promoting researches in Bahrain and throughout the region to enhance the quantity and quality of research-related outputs and to develop the performance and progress of research-based innovations. The research is very important, especially in our field, because we want to practice the evidence-based medicine. So when we, we practice the evidence-based medicine, we know that it will reflect the best quality of healthcare, so we can provide a better healthcare to our patients. The workshop provides 140 trainees from Bahrain and GCC countries with the basic standards of conducting scientific researches, considering it as an initial step to enable them to provide the community with new ideas, innovations and strongly published articles. Hopefully today I can bring some of our knowledge that we have in Ireland, how we do things, how we're able to train our junior researchers and how we can get them to explain their research to other people in research articles and to be able to explain it in conferences. So hopefully today, with the number of people that are here today, we might be able to impart some of that knowledge. Development and advancement in research fields elevates the healthcare provider's quality of knowledge and skills and helps them understand and learn the effective way of conveying the medical innovations and latest advancements in the medical field to the public. Since we are conducting this workshop, the number of the researchers in, is in, uh, keep increasing. And last year we reached up to 119 uh, research which is done by our physicians from BDF and it, and it has been published in local and, and international journals. So this improves uh, the awareness and education of the physician in how to conduct the research and do the uh, publication. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. The Joint Coordinating Committee of the Ministry of Labor and Social Development and the General Authority for Social Insurance held its eighth meeting under the chairmanship of the Undersecretary of the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, Mr. Sabah Salam Adosari. Mr. Adosari lauded the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in regards to the launch of the National Employment Program. The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Labor and Social Development affirmed the importance of developing the mechanism process of unemployment insurance in order to raise the amount of subsidy and the maximum compensation following the approval of the legislative authority on the draft amendment of decree law number 78 of 2006 in line with the requirements of the national program for employment. For the 14th consecutive year, the Spring of Culture Festival returns in a new cultural season full of activities that cater to various tastes. Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, in collaboration with the French Embassy in Bahrain, organized a concert of the Haiduti Orchestra. The orchestra, who participated in international events such as Cannes Festival in 2016, is a fruit of an original cocktail made by French, Greeks, Bulgarian, Turkish, and Gypsy Serbian, exploring Kurdi, Azeri, and Armenian music, as much as Syrian, Lebanese, and Gypsy ones. The Spring of Culture Festival is filled with song, music, and theater performances. And the Haiduti Orchestra summed the world's musical arts in a single performance. The festival's activities will continue until the end of next month. 